Hello and welcome to MJ Studies. Today we will see about the uh, Amazon Light Cell storage. That how we can create a uh, storage uh, disk or e storage bucket, S3 bucket in our Amazon Light Cell. So uh, as you uh, know that uh, we created the S3 in our uh, normal uh, AWS management console. So if you don't check that video, then you can check that video in the I button. As you also remember that we also created a EBS volume uh, in our uh, normal EBS volume in our AWS management console. Please check that video also in the I button. And yeah, uh, now we are uh, going to check that how we can create storage devices, how we can create a storage in uh, Amazon Light Cell. So now we are going to create it. We need to go to Amazon Light Cell and just check, click on, in the toolbar. We need to click on storage. When we click on storage, it uh, uh, gives two options because in uh, in the uh, Amazon Light Cell uh, there are not much uh, options for the storage services. It only provides two services. Either you can choose the bucket or you can choose the disk. So we are first going to create a bucket. So to create bucket, just click on create bucket. Now uh, here you can choose the reason that what reason you want. We are going to choose the Mumbai reason. After that you can choose the storage plan according to your need. You can choose it uh, as, uh, for the first 12 months. Uh, it's in a free tier so you can uh, use any of this uh, uh, the first option the 5gb option is free for uh, uh, for 12 months and after, uh, along with this these are not free this will cost you accordingly so we are going to create 5gb uh, and 25gb of transfer so yeah identify the bucket so we need to provide the name of our bucket so we are giving a name to this bucket so nj study before so yeah, we give the name uh, to this bucket. Now we are going to create the bucket. Bucket name is already ex exists, so we are going to five. Yeah, the bucket is created successfully. As you see, that our bucket is created successfully, and uh, the five GB of storage is available in this bucket. You can uh, check for the getting start note uh, for this bucket. Uh, by here you can upload the object so we are going to upload the object all the things are same as in our normal s3 bucket things are same we can do almost uh, many things here in the amazon light cell so we are going to upload the <coughs> file here we are going to upload this so the uploading is progress and upload successfully as you see the file is uploaded at the time 7 25 pm now we are going to check for the permissions and you can see that the permissions are also same as you see as we see in our uh, normal S3 uh, in the management console you can check for the uh, metrics that how much storage is used how much storage is left and also the bucket size and all those you can check the matrices and if you want to create uh, a alarm then you can add alarm over here you can also enable the versioning in this bucket uh, you can enable the versioning by just clicking on uh, this tool uh, after that we can also check for the login if you want to check for the access login then you can check for the access login now we are going to check for this file that how we can access this file so as you see uh, this object is private because this bucket is private so currently this bucket is private we need to change the permission for to access this object so we need to make this bucket public so that we can access this object so all objects are public and read only okay we are going to save this i understand and it's safe now you see that the bucket uh, permission is uh, now you can see that the all objects are public and in read only so we are going to access this uh, object yeah we are going to access this object so as you see that with the help of bucket uh, bucket url and the uh, name of this object we are able to access this uh, object now what we are doing uh, here we can upload multiple files and here we can upload uh, we can uh, store our data over here in the our bucket in our light cell bucket now what we are doing we are going to create a storage uh, for disk now we are going to create a disk to create a disk we need to go to storage in the storage you found the option create disk just click on create disk here you found that uh, uh, creating new disk you can choose the reason according to your uh, need and after that you can also choose the availability zone in which availability zone it, uh, it, you want this disk after that you can choose the storage that how much gb of data uh, how much gb of size the disk uh, would be so uh, the uh, price of this block storage is 0 0.10 us dollar per allocated gb so if you are uh, choosing 8 gb then it will cost you 0 0.80 gb per month 0 0.80 usd per month now accordingly you can check you can identify the name you can give the name as mj study 
you can give tag only you can give uh, key value pair and you can just click on create once when you created the disk it uh, works same as ebs works uh, it uh, will attach to your ec2 instance it will attach to your light cell instance and you can connect with this disk and everything uh, going uh, with this disk yeah so in this video we are uh, we check for two things s3 <coughs> bucket that how we can create bucket in amazon light cell and how we can create disk in amazon light cell so yeah. Thank you for watching this video and if you have any doubt feel free to comment below. Please like, share and subscribe MJ study. Goodbye.